The finance ministry believes the country's economy is continuing to show signs of recovery thanks to robust trading. Park Gonu has the details. Domestic demand is showing signs of recovery for the fifth straight month in September. That's according to the latest Economic Green Book, a monthly economic assessment report released by the Finance Ministry on Friday. But it's also the second consecutive month the government used the expression gradually to reflect the GDP growth rate for the second quarter, which dropped on quarter. The Green Book says that domestic demand is recovering differently by sector, and that facility investment and the service industry in particular are recovering. But retail sales dropped by nearly 2 percent on month in July, while the index showing performance in the construction sector dropped by 1.7 percent. We'll be able to take out the expression showing signs of recovery when retail sales and construction investment increases, as they're all components of domestic demand. While mentioning a boost in private consumption is essential for a recovery, one expert spoke about uncertainties. When the domestic consumption begins to pick up, I think it could, could have a positive effect upon Korean economy. That, I think, depends pretty much upon the interest rate, you know, how much and how fast interest rate will come down in Korea. The finance ministry also points out that recent steady export performances have contributed to the economy showing signs of recovery. Exports saw a rise of over 11 percent on year in August, mainly due to strong chip shipments. Consumer prices have been stabilizing with inflation last month down to 2 percent on year due to a drop in international oil prices and the release of newly harvested fruits. The government said it would do its best to keep stabilizing consumer prices and supporting small businesses before the Chuseok holiday. The Green Book also shows that the global economy has been recovering recently due to better trading conditions and changes in monetary policies. And it said geopolitical risks caused by the Russia-Ukraine war and tensions in the Middle East are still factors causing instability. Park Geun-hye, Arirang News.